Drum roll. Glad you're on top of this one, Colin. I am. Glad. <laughs> Seems like it caught you a little bit off guard. Still keeping going until we get them out of here. Still going. Still going. Well, thank you, Michael, for joining the show. Our next guest up is Augusta Stone. Hello, Augusta. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. How are you guys? All right. Well, Augusta, she is your Jim Dogs beat reporter yes, for the sir. Red and Black. She is killing it doing a wonderful job and Thank this gym dog team is fun to watch aren't they yes they're a blast um i've had a great time i actually wasn't a very big gymnastics fan coming in no. i didn't i never followed it before um got the assignment in december and i've just been rolling i i know so much i've learned so much in the past month and it's it's been a blast yeah i guess this join with uh or tori heck joins her on the beat and is there anyone else on the beat no, it's just, just, me and tori. just the two of you guys yeah. and so oh that's interesting dynamic though because it seems like tori has does she have some background in gymnastics? I or don't she grew think so. So it's no, yeah. brand new for We're both of you. both fresh. Yeah, gotcha. she, I think she has more of an idea than I do. Um, yeah. She tends to like know like what a round off is from looking up. And I learned all of this from research. And yeah. she, I think she just knows it. But yeah. yeah, so we're both pretty new. But Well, okay, so when you're getting into these press conferences and you're asking these players and then uh, Coach Coupette, Coupette's, like yes, a, yeah, Coupette's, Coupette's Carter, Carter. Yes. if you're asking her these questions and all that, it's it, are you asking kind of a little technical side of it? So you can, uh, like, how has that been a learning experience through, are, are these players open um, to kind of explaining this all to you guys yeah or? yeah so it's been a ton of research honestly okay. um independent yeah. research i found websites watching videos like <laughs> non-stop um i figure out like they do the same skills across the meets yeah so you kind of figure out what it is and then you know exactly what they're looking for like you want like stuck landings obviously um you want your legs tight you want to be like very like just strong you want to look yeah. strong and so um it's been a learning experience for sure i have more of an idea than i thought i would for sure um they've been pretty good about speaking technically to me which i appreciate yeah. um but yeah it's it's been really fun i i appreciate that they um they will explain things if i have questions yeah. but um i can identify the skills because they don't change it up on me yeah. thankfully so if you just watch the meets like we're going into the fifth one so i i know what to expect from their routines and i know like what they need to do to stick and stuff like that well as far as getting in we'll get into team talk so far this team's in top 10 was it what are they currently six. six yeah yes. i was about to say after the iowa state meet this uh past mlk day and then they had a against alabama on yes. fr last friday and that that was awesome did you see the uh, little intro video that they did it was the friday yes. night heights uh, around the saturday night live uh coach coupettes carter um comes in and says something to extend what would what'd she say? Live from Athens, it's Friday night. Yeah, and they yes. go into the whole little nice. spiel, like a yeah. SNL thing. So, so it, was, cool. it was really cool to have the video team and put put that all together for the video board. Um, but as far as like this team so far, it's, it's a young team. Yeah. Nine freshmen on it. Nine freshmen. There's 14 gymnasts. So yeah. they're almost, there's five returners. They are almost doubled by freshmen. Yeah. which is wild like um yeah. it's very you don't and see one that a senior lot. sydney C. yeah one senior yeah yep. she's the anchor <laughs> <laughs> i was about to say speaking on the anchor so who what are some of the dynamics that you're seeing of this team um right now with these freshmen such a young team and one one senior right now are, are there little things that in between like each um event that's uh you're seeing and noticing characters and leaders wise yeah so sydney sneed for sure um yeah. you can tell she she's always just on the sidelines hyping everyone up for sure um one thing i've noticed the freshmen themselves they seem to be very encouraging of each yeah. other there's so many of them and um it's so fun to watch them you know they are all going through the same thing they know exactly you know what the other one's feeling and they're on every event there's a freshman uh multiple on some events so it's it's very interesting to see how um a team can be led by such young talent i think um for sure it was i think the alabama meet uh the top two scorers on bars were both freshmen you, you don't see that a lot yeah. um you really don't and so they're having such an impact but really the team dynamic i think especially coming off they had a rough meet at oklahoma yeah and so well, oklahoma is also a top top what they're the best they're number are they one. currently right now number one oh, okay yes. well, never mind. and right, they I... traveled to norman it was rough um one thing i noticed uh talking to them after the availability was that um the 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 upperclassmen the two juniors and the senior really had to just lead the freshmen let them yeah. know you know you're gonna have calm down the, needs calm Absolutely. the pregame jitters you exactly know, exactly and you could <clears throat> tell they just they look like 
a new team yeah. after that after for that. sure having yeah. the, so it's just having the, these experiences because really they're playing or they're going up against alabama top five yes and then they're going up like in this past what two three four game um meet stretch yeah right there so but as far as um for you covering the team though you have a kind of unique niche of uh fans for you so what is, what is it like reaching out and being able to get to the gym dogs fans of athens and beyond and um have you had any people come up and talk to you about um say like hey awesome thank you for covering this and like we love the coverage that you're giving for us yeah or? so I, I haven't had that specifically but one thing i've noticed yeah. is like in my friend circles i'll tell them i'm covering gymnastics and they're always like oh my goodness i love the gym dogs that's so yeah. cool um it's it's one of those things i came to georgia and i remember when i was on like my freshman year tour they were like what do you think the second most popular sport on campus is? And everyone was like, I don't know, I don't know. And it was men's gymnastics. Yeah, yes. Yeah, um, one thing I've noticed <laughs> is shaking his head over. Is really cool. Um, Stegman, even on like the Monday matinees, yeah. it gets pretty full. Oh, it does. And, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, and all the like, there's so many uh, kids you know yeah. and their families and um it it, it brings in a crowd yeah. for sure and it's been fun well it's almost like a family vibe everything's yes. family it's engaging um the coaches are you know have the microphone speaking with the crowd interacting with the crowd and everyone um is interacting with the crowd and wants uh, that to be a part of their score as well i think uh was it um What's her name? First name? I'm it's slipping my mind. Vega. Uh, oh, Sabrina Ste Vega. Sabrina yes. Vega. Yes, yeah. So her hers is awesome with the Michael Jackson moonwalk, and yes. she's I saw her do it last year at least, and then now still I feel like that's just little things to get the crowd going, engaged, and Absolutely. stuff like that. The crowd engagement helps them out so much too. Um, one thing of no, uh, Rachel Lucas. She's a freshman. She's coming off of the junior Olympic level where it's very individual competition. You know, not a lot of cheering, no one on the sidelines with you. And um, she mentioned specifically that it's already been hyping her up so much, having all of the energy come up in the NCAA level. So you can see it in her score. She's already scored a 9.925. Um, and it, I think the, the crowd atmosphere helps these gymnasts so much. It helps them really like boost up their scores, boost up their energy, loosen up, not be so tight. And a lot of them coming off this individual competition, you can tell that it, it's already helping them out so much with such a young team. And they really love the atmosphere. And the fans are incredible. Yeah. One well, of the guys are being a little quiet over here. Well, so I wanted to ask you about a tough loss <laughs> on Friday against Alabama, losing by... 0 0.025, so yeah. 25 one hundredths. And then bouncing back, quick turnaround uh, for a home Monday matinee against Iowa State. And then the team comes out and posts 197. For anybody that might not be well versed uh, kind of in the gymnastics world, why is that number so important? What's the big deal about 197? So a 197 means that across all of the events, the gym dogs, uh, they average a 9.85 across all of the events. That's huge. That's almost a 9.9. Um, only five other teams this so far this season have reached a 197. Um, so it's really like showing that you're in the upper echelon of the NCAA. And that's somewhere Georgia wants to be. You know, they haven't been there since uh, Suzanne Yochlin retired. Um, I think it was in 2009. They've been in a rebuilding year. And so they're really coming like back. I think I think. Honestly, one thing I've noticed is I think they're maybe I don't know if the right word is like they're coming out early. You know how they were talking about how the Braves were like um, ahead of schedule. I think the gym dogs are definitely ahead of schedule. Um, we're already or they're already um, hitting that 197 with the nine freshmen. And uh, it's only Courtney Coupette's Carter's second season. So I think that um, they're definitely, you know, ahead of schedule for where they want to be. And if they keep it going, if they keep the momentum up, I think we could see them in, in CAs again. And they made it last year um, after uh, upset against, I think it was Michigan. So I think they can make it without an upset this year if they keep going at the pace they're at. Yeah. It's another question I had, a little more lighthearted. It's Monday yeah. afternoon. I'm doing homework. Um, then I, I get onto Twitter, and there's a couple people there covering the gym dogs meet. And I get a text that the beam has broken, and there is this <laughs> lengthy delay at Stegman Coliseum because the beam broke. And so say, yeah. what happened? Because I, I get on my, on my timeline, and I see three or four tweets in a row that, oh, you know, we're in a delay at the gym dogs meet because they need a new beam. Oh, it was Sabrina Vega. It was Sabrina it, it was Vega. Right after yes. Her. I, uh, funny how I say the Michael Jackson thing, yes. and then it 
been walking breaks. Itself. Um, so thankfully, she was the final gymnast okay. on the the beam. Uh, she said midway through her routine, she felt a screw come loose, and then she watched it fall. So she's up on the beam. She's still doing her skills. She finished her routine knowing that part of the beam had fallen. That's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys ask about this yeah. after? Oh what, yeah. What'd she say? So she was laughing, <laughs> which is good. But she said that she, I think. I think I quoted her saying that she was praying while she was up on the beam that yeah. it wouldn't fall. Um, and it didn't. But um, one thing that was interesting was they, they tried to fix it and then they realized that they couldn't. So they physically removed the beam. They walked it out. Oh, and they had a full team. There was yes. like five guys, like grown men yes. just carrying this huge beam out yeah of one of them i noticed was our assistant coach josh overton he was one of the guys helping them <laughs> as, like get the beam out and then they brought in another one i was talking to tori i was like do we have another beam that we can yeah. just bring in so i have no idea where they i don't know if it came from what the practice it? gym okay no clue but they brought in another one and then uh iowa state they got you know the extra time to warm up because you can imagine like right. the gap in time there. One thing I noticed um, before, so it was right before Georgia was to go on floor. And for the floor exercise, you want to be loose. You want to be, um, I guess it's, it's still serious, but it's supposed to be less serious than the other rotations. And um, in that 30 minute period where they were like replacing the beam, um, they were playing music, getting hype. You could tell that they were really loosening up. And so I, I remember thinking like, they're gonna have strong floor performances if they're already like this loose. So that was one thing. Um, and then they did, they actually had a great night on floor. I think three scores of nine, nine and above, Rachel Lucas breaking her own career best. So you could tell that um, as odd as it was having the gap, I think it really did help loosen them up for yeah. sure. Uh, so, okay, looking ahead a little bit, uh, it seems after this stretch that they've had against Oklahoma, Alabama, um, the kind of things slimming down a little bit, slowing down a little bit for them or as far as competition-wise, who they're going up against. Um, who who are some key matchups to look for in the upcoming couple of weeks here? So in the upcoming couple of weeks, I think – so Auburn going away, for me, I think that – um, away meets are going to be a true test for this team yeah. because um, having a, the Stegman Coliseum atmosphere really is going to like yeah. uh, make the scores higher. Um, so I'm interested to see how they come back. You know, the only away meet so far has been Oklahoma where they scored the 195, which is just, it's not a score. You want to at least score in 196 every week. The 195 is something they're hoping to drop when um, the RQS calculation uh, kicks in toward the end of February. Um, so I think trying to post that high score away will be a big one. One matchup I'm looking forward to um, is when they travel to Florida because um, Rachel Bowman, she's a freshman. Her sister competes at Florida. She, Alyssa Bowman. So um, it'll be interesting to see them compete against each other for the first time. Um, so that's one matchup I'm definitely looking forward to. And then the next week at LSU, Florida and LSU are the only two SEC teams ranked ahead of Georgia right now. So that that will be an intimidating the, tough stretch. The ones to watch for. Yes, for sure. So when's their next home home meet, you said? Um, it's February 1st. Um, so not this Friday, but the next. Gotcha. So yes. you got a, got a little bit of time to, uh, a little bit of break instead of having to go back to back over this past week. Oh, it's so much fun though. Yeah, I was about to yeah, say. I don't mind it at all. Not <laughs> yeah, at all. They're a blast. So as far as any fun stories, we ask everyone if they got inside looks and fun stories that they like to have or any fun times that you and Tori have, have had on the uh, covering it so far is it just part of the learning experience that's the most fun for you honestly I've I've loved learning I feel like I've fallen in love with another sport um gymnastics was never on my radar yeah. before I got the beat and then I was so excited to get the assignment because I know how much gymnastics means to Georgia as a whole yeah. um so I knew I wanted to do it justice and um I, falling in love with a sport, you know, I've I've been watching old uh, Olympic routines, you know, Courtney Coupets when she was at the Olympics in yeah. 2004. I've just been watching old routines, getting really into it. And I love having found um, just something else to enjoy, really. Um, and then even like nationally, um, Oklahoma has Maggie Nichols. And I've become a very big fan of Maggie Nichols. She is an incredible gymnast and yeah. I love watching her routines. So for me, the most fun part has been like falling in love with another sport. Well, that's awesome sure. to hear. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah.